work with large files like a JSON file or a large code source file and oftentimes when I try to scroll through the file I tend to lose like where I am due to the large number of nested conditionals or classes well if you're looking at JSON file due to many levels of nesting it makes it really really hard to find out where you are you often get lost and then you have to scroll back up in order to see which parents function or parents object are you in well today I'm going to show you an easy way to fix that and it all comes with this experimental feature in digital sorry in um, visual studio code now first let's get some example files so I go to this awesome open source.com website where you can get a lot of JSON files for free so let's find something interesting let's go to the github API events so here's a big JSON file right so let me copy that here and then I'm gonna mark it as JSON okay so this is a giant oops let's see let's get the source the raw source so it's formatted there you go so this is the giant JSON file as an example so for the next thing let's go to the VS code open source source code and then let's go in there let's pretend we are looking at the bootstrap.js from visual studio studio code, code source code so let's do here so to demonstrate what i'm trying to say is let's say you have this giant json file here and then you're trying to scroll through this thing so here i have user.login and then th there's just so much in here right i tend to lose where i am you know like this user has so many different um sub child so even have commits folder commits has sha and the sha has author so many levels of nesting so it's really hard for me to figure out where i am currently so uh, it's it's very confusing same as the source code if you look into the source code you see this uh high, higher level function inside of this function you got an if and then if you scroll down a little further you get an if and then you got another if inside of here right so there's so many nesting you just like by the time i scroll here you know like look at this how many if you got a four you got an if so if i ask you hey where am i right now in the source code you have to scroll back up to see the parents function and say oh i'm in the enable asos support function so let's fix that there's an easy way to do this so first uh, to do this you need one of the you need the latest version of visual studio code and then you go to code and then you go to preferences go to settings here you type in sticky so there's a feature called experimental sticky scroll enabled so if you click on that now if you go back to your file now if I scroll this right notice the top bar here if I scroll you see that it actually sticks like where I am right now like now I can easily tell I'm inside the enable star support function and then you can easily say oh I'm inside the resolve lookup path function so it tells you what function you are in as you scroll so it goes away after you scroll out of it so this is extremely useful in my opinion it lets you keep uh, your context of where you are right now it even works in a function like this so let's see what happens when you do it with a JSON file so same thing if I scroll you see that oh I'm in payload that issue right it tells you all of these functions now so if I keep going I got payload right actor repo payload so it tells you where you are and then it tells you what other child you are in so it's basically the hierarchy the tree of the path of the object that you're looking at in the JSON file so it's super useful if you have multiple levels of nesting and I hope this you find this tip useful and by the way, I am back and look for more tutorials from me in the future. I really miss you guys and I hope to make a lot more videos for you in the future. And with that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video.